All right, so first fish of the day, um, small one, maybe 10 inches. Um, I didn't get it on film. I wasn't filming. I wasn't recording, but I caught him on uh, this silver crankbait, small crankbait, small fish. Uh, there we go, about 10 inches. Nothing, nothing too special. Um, I'm going to try to get an underwater release on this guy. Didn't record that first fish catch. Um, I didn't think I was going to catch anything in this lake. Uh, I came out here last night. It was pretty dead. But I was just throwing crankbait up on some rocks. And he ended up hitting it. I didn't get it on film. I didn't get it on film. But it was a, it was a pretty nice hit. I mean, small fish, but it was a nice topwater strike. I don't think there's any mini fish back here. I might head back over there towards the boat ramp. Um, but that brush over there, if I could get to it, looks nice. And then there's that little inlet. I mean, every now and then there's been some fish jumping. Um, there's actually a pretty nice bass over there, but it's dead. So, you know, tragic. I'm just glad I caught something, honestly. I don't care. I mean, maybe we'll have more luck during the day, but I really want to get this video out. Video out. So I really wanted to catch a fish. So I'm not gonna upload a video without catching a fish. You guys don't want to see that. All right. I don't. I think back here is better for frogs. I mean, this this just, this just looks like a frog place. But over there, near, there's some rocks. That's where I was throwing that crankbait. I don't want to leave my stuff though. I guess I'm just gonna stick around here. There's that, there's that dead bass. It's really rocky. I mean, water level, you can tell the water levels are down low. So all the grass and all the weeds and stuff, they're up. And all that's left is just flat bottom, sand and rock. I really wanna get over to that other side. I might try to cross the creek over there. Get over there. I've still yet to catch a bass. This is a new new rod, new bait caster. Um, it's a G Loomis GLX on a Luz Laser MG, um, seven to one to one. I've still yet to catch a bass on it. I caught a bluegill on a crankbait about three weeks ago, but I've still yet to catch a bass on this rod. Caught plenty on my spinning rod, but. Not on this rod yet. So hopefully that changes today. There's a bunch of buzzards over there. Eating some dead fish. I thought they were eagles at first, but no. See, this is where all the bass are going. They're, they're dying and then they're getting eaten by buzzards. That, an accurate description of this, accurate description of this lake. You've never only been out here. An hour. Not even that. I've only been here like 30 minutes. Fail. Guys, look at this. This is like a, this is where these vultures were. And this is a fish. And look how big this fish is. Look at this one. <laughs> That's like four pounds. And they're all dead. This is where all my fish are going. Well, not my fish. I can barely catch fish, but still, that's where all the fish are. All right, so I was throwing this um, swim bait with the spinning blade, and you know, a nice size bluegill hit it. Not what we're looking for, but um, it's a fish, so I'll take it. All right, so today wasn't a good day of fishing. I hooked two bass, only landed one. Uh, I hooked the second one on this bank. Then I tried to turn the camera on. Uh, I let slack and line came off. Um, and I landed one bluegill. I haven't really been. I have had better days. But right now, I'm about to head out. Oh, fish on! Let's go! Fish on! Fish on!
on, nice one. Fish on, fish on. <laughs>